Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Kosman. And we've just been interviewed by British businessman Andy Meehan. He's a busy guy. He's on his he way is. to China. Stopped here on his way to China, spent a couple hours with us uh, doing an interview. It was great. We're glad that we could get him in here. He did a lot of interview with us. And here is one of the topics that he talked about with us. So we want you to listen to this, watch what we're doing, and stay tuned. Right, because stay tuned to the end because at the end we've got a very special offer for you. We do, and it's all free. I can't believe you're allowing this to be free. Free. We gotta do it for you. These are very nice people. Yes, they are nice people, so stay tuned at the end. Get the answer for the question that Andy asks us, and stay tuned. We've got something special for you at the end. Podcast. <laughs> now, that's a term people hear all the time these days. So, what exactly is a podcast, and why should a business person have one? Interesting. If you think of broadcast, which we all seem to know, and if you look at what the two components of that word would be, it means to cast out information in a broad way. Okay? Mm -hmm. When people started going to cable television, they started talking about narrow casting. Well, podcast started because of the iPod, right. took part of that and took part of cast, as in casting your net out there, and put those together. People often think of a podcast as being just audio, but there can be a video podcast as well. So it's getting something in rich media out to the public. And again, my thoughts about this is that you're building your media empire as a professional. So, you know, the podcast is your radio station. Yes. Or television, because as you said, it can be video as well. But I think a lot of people associate a podcast with sort of the audio component. You can subscribe to it and it can actually be delivered right to your iPod or your iPhone. Right. But you know, your blog becomes your newspaper, your YouTube channel becomes your TV station, and to me the podcast is your radio station. And so this is your way to get information in usable chunks of information, you know, 20-minute chunk so that people can listen to it while commuting and take some of that dead time in their lives and, and learn something, use it productively. It's a, just a, an amazing tool and a, another way for professionals to kind of build this relationship, show their expertise, and again, collect more information that can be repackaged into a product as well. And they can always find out what we're doing when they subscribe to our website because we alert them there. They can go to iTunes and subscribe to what we do there so that it automatically will go onto their iPhone, their iPod, whatever they're using to, uh, to download podcasts. So it's a great way of taking information out for us to get it out, for people to carry it with them. I'm always listening to something in the car. Sometimes it's things we do, sometimes it's things that other people do, and I've gotten them from their podcasts. Now, just in follow-up to that, you just sort of mentioned the idea that your podcasts are available in iTunes. Is that, <clears throat> that may to some people seem like, well, you have to be a big company or a big guy <laughs> to get your podcast on iTunes. How, how is well, clearly you that? do. You've yeah, got to be right. huge yeah, to be able no. no. But anyone can really go there and put their podcast there. They register them there. They have to host them themselves, mm -hmm. but they create a link that goes to you and automatically feed that information. So if you think of iTunes as kind of the YouTube for sound, it's mm -hmm. where the majority of the information is available in a recorded matter. And it's always amazing to me that these things are, are literally free. Uh, you know, I mean, there's an agenda on the company's point of view for doing that and being the, the major source. But now I, uh, anyone can put their stuff up on iTunes. iTunes will index it for you. It will group all of your things together into one place where someone can subscribe to it. Um, there is everything on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Woo! Wow, that was one of 40 that we answered with Andy. Andy interviewed us for so long he's going to have to rush to catch his flight to China. And we started at 7 in the morning, went the entire morning with him. But you know what? We have 40 of these that we want to give you free. Absolutely. We got them all packaged nice and neat for you. We had short answers on these because we had so much we were going to pack in on all these different topics. So you see that link down below? Right down there. Click that link that's down below. You get to have all 40. If you like that one, you get all 40 of these for free. Absolutely. Click on that link. We'll see you right on the other side. Sure. It's free. Go get these.